Well, if you think you've come down with something, what's the first thing you do? Call the doctor or Google the symptoms. A lot of people do that. It can be dangerous. A lot of people really do turn to online. Well, now telemedicine is allowing people to actually talk with a virtual MD using Skype or FaceTime on your smartphone or your tablet. Covering medicine tonight, WATE 6 on your side anchor, Lori Tucker, pays a visit to a local cell phone provider to find out the best way to really use this technology. I came over here to U.S. Cellular in West Knoxville to get some answers for you on the best way to use telemedicine. With me now is Jack Brundage with U.S. Cellular. We have a tablet. We need a big screen for starters. Absolutely. Well, the bigger the better because you're going to be communicating with doctors virtually. So it's good that they can see you in the video and you can see them. This is so new. You all just... Uh, heard about it a few weeks ago. Tell us um, who this is good for and some of the benefits for families. Well, it's great for people that are busy because, you know, it takes a lot of time to uh, make a doctor's appointment and go to the doctor. And it's also good for people in remote locations. So you can use your U.S. Cellular 4G LTE network if you're in remote. And you can actually virtually talk to a doctor and diagnose minor ailments. Like you said, Skype with a doctor. And again, minor. This does not take the place of your doctor. How do people uh, get online with these folks? Well, we recommend that you get with your primary care physician and see if they support uh, telemedicine because that would be the first thing. And also check with your insurance provider to make sure that your insurance covers it. That's a very good uh, point. And also, just what does the future hold? You know, we, we were talking about this a few years ago. Would this ever be a reality? And we're starting to see this coming on board. You all who sell this technology are starting to see it as well. Sky's the limit? I think so. You know, we have these things like Fitbits that are really hot in our industry right now. They monitor your heart rate, your sleep. So who knows? I mean, maybe in the future they could give you temperature and, you know, they can maybe provide other information for the doctor as well. All right. Very good. Thank you so much for uh, telling us a little bit more about that. In the meantime, again, this does not place, take the place of your doctor, uh, but it is certainly a wonderful reinforcement. Check with your primary care physician to see if telemedicine is something for you and your family to consider. Covering Medicine, I'm Lori Tucker, a WATE 6 on your side. For more